and we're back in the yard so this is a uh, daikin mini split we got five heads it was just installed and never worked uh, so what's happening is the heads would not get any power um, I was able to get this to you know run but uh, the, it's not sending power to any of the heads and there's five of them so uh, we went over it with uh, tech support and, and we've determined that we have a bad PCB board. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. So uh, hopefully this works. So here we go. All right. So the first thing we want to do to diagnose is we want to make sure we're getting power. I have all the heads disconnected. So we're just checking the unit itself because we're not getting any high voltage to the unit. And as you can see, we are getting 230 AC going to the terminals, going to the board getting voltage and going into the board we are getting voltage all right now we have our a terminal here as you can see I have all the screws out because of the uh, discs um, so one and two is gonna be your high voltage and then two and three is gonna be your communication and DC volts so that we should be getting 240 volts AC power from uh, one and two, which we are only getting like four volts. Now, if we switch over to DC volts, I believe it's supposed to be under 50 volts uh, coming between two and three. So yeah, there we go. So that's pretty good. And you can see if we check all of them, it's all the same. So the issue is, is we're not getting high voltage going to the uh, to each head. Now if I push this button here, this turns on the condenser. So that brings the unit on. So the unit itself seems to be fine, but it's not sending any power going to the heads. So we determined that there's probably some issue with the PCB board. Now we can check by going to DC voltages uh, to see if it's, you know, converting. So there's these two little tiny spots right here. See DC plus and DC minus. So if we check there, we got our meter set to DC voltage. It should be under 50 volts, which it is. So it's inverting and that's why the unit's turning on. I don't know if you can hear it, so it's ramping up. But the heads are obviously disconnected, but when I did this when they were connected, nothing happened inside. So we're gonna turn it off. So now we're gonna go ahead and replace the board. So I'm gonna kill the power first. The power has been killed. And we're gonna make sure, switch her back to AC. And we're gonna make sure we got no voltage we do not so now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to unplug everything we're gonna have to take this plate off because this cools the CPUs in here and then go from there so okay so we got all everything unplugged we've removed the screws for this plate and it just pops out like that it's one okay cool it looks like it's got some kind of thermal paste Hopefully they gave me some extra, and then we're just gonna remove these screws and it just, just slide out, hopefully. We'll see. Alrighty, so we got it out. There she is. So there's 13 screws all along the edge and then three in the middle, lucky number 13. So now we need to try to get our new board in there without damaging it, so here we go. Okay, cool, so we got her all hooked back up. We got this in here. Um, I added some thermal paste. Uh, you can get it at like a you know computer place like fries or whatever it's just um it's so it transfers the heat to the heat sink more more efficiently of course they don't give that to you when you order it so make sure you pick some up and they looked at me funny when i asked about it but anyway um yeah so we got all 13 screws put back in we got all the wires hooked up we're gonna leave those disconnected we're gonna power it up make sure we're getting the 240 first and then we'll start hooking up the heads one at a time so I'm just going to go over this and make sure I didn't miss any wires, but it looks like I got everything hooked up. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and power it up. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Please don't blow up. 
Well, nothing smoking. That's a good sign. So let's go ahead and we're gonna check our AC voltage between one and two. And hopefully we're getting 240. We are now getting 240 volts between one and two. And I'm checking every single one, A, B, and C, and D, and E. I'm getting 240. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up these heads and hopefully they work, so here we go. Okay, so we got uh, head A hooked up. We're gonna power it up. Make sure we're still getting the 240 between one and two. And we're gonna do this one at a time just to make sure one of the heads isn't killing it because we know right now it works. I wanna determine that it's not actually one of the heads that's the cause of the problem. So one and two. We're getting 240, awesome. All right, so we're gonna go check the indoor head and then we'll be back. Well, we hooked up unit C. I had unit A, B, and D hooked up, no problems. I was getting 240. Then I hooked up C, and now it's doing the same thing. I'm getting no high voltage. So I have my meter set to continuity. So this is unit A. So we go red to, which is our high voltage, we go red to black and nothing. We go red to, or black to white, nothing. And we go red to white nothing now unit c we go black to white nothing we go black to red oops and we have tone so there's a short there now we're checking unit e black to red we also have a high voltage short so that's what caused our board to go bad to begin with and that's what caused um that's what caused our board to go bad, and that's also what caused our second board to go bad. So, <sighs> at least now we know the problem. I should I didn't even think about testing that before, but now we know at least which ones are bad. So, yep. So I'm gonna test the rest of them, but we know that uh, A, B, and, and D are good. Let's see if we check it here, nothing. We check it here, nothing. Let's make sure we don't have a short against ground, no. So yeah, anytime you're replacing a board, don't do, don't be dumb like me and, and do this before you start hooking stuff up. I didn't even think about it. <sighs> so now I gotta wait another week for another board. Oh, geez. Well, we'll be back once we get this thing up and running, but at least now we know what the problem is, so. Okay, so I've been testing. So we have two direct short, high voltage shorts there. Um, and I noticed there's fuses here. So we got on continuity. That one's good. This one's good. But this one is dead. So I think this is the problem here. And then the same fuse on the new board is dead as well. See? Nothing. We're good there, and we're good here. So, I'm gonna make a bridge to bypass the fuse to at least get the three heads going until we can order another board. So yeah, so here we go. Okay, so that's what I did. We took the fuse out, we used butt connectors and pinched it onto the little metal things coming out and bypassed it. So this is gonna be a temporary fix. So now we got three out of five heads working. Uh, so all three heads have been working since I got the board today. So we're gonna hook up the last two units, which it turned out that they hooked up the condensate pump. So it's the uh, Refco uh, uh, Gobi 2 condensate pumps. So pretty much you have two circuits. You have a safety drain switch on there. Uh, and then you have your power. So it uh, looks like the installers had hooked up the drain switch into the power, which created a direct short on both units. And that's what popped the fuse on this board. So I've already rewired that and got that all fixed. 
Uh, but this thing's been trucking around, trucking along uh, fine since we did our little little repair there. Um, so I'm gonna hook up the two heads first, uh, the ones with the pumps. I've already rewired them. And then uh, I'm gonna turn it on before I change the board just in case. But first we'll start and make sure there's uh, no continuity between the wires like there were last time. And then we'll go from there. So here we go. Okay, so we got our meter set to continuity. Um, so I got it between uh, red and white and got nothing. Do red and black, nothing. And we'll do black and red. Which we have nothing. Awesome. So the last time we were getting toned, so that's why it burned our thing. Now, like I said, I've completely rewired it, so it's all good, but I'm just double checking because I don't want to burn out a third board. <laughs> so we go red to white, or red to red to black, we're good. Red to white, we're good. And black to white, we're good. So we're going to go ahead and hook these up and then we'll try turning it on and hopefully it doesn't blow up this board because there, now there's no fuse. So here we go. Okay, so I got everything wired up. So we're going to plug in our disconnect. And I'm going to stand over here just in case with my hand on it. And uh, so here we go. Hopefully nothing catches fire or explodes. But I've, like I said, I've already checked those lines. So there's no more shorts. So here we go. We got our indicator light, it's not doing anything crazy. Let's see if we're getting voltage between one and two, we should be getting 240 AC. And yes. On uh, E and D is what uh, we just hooked up. So we're getting voltage across all heads, so we should be good to go now. And again, uh, one and two is gonna be high voltage. Uh, and then uh, two and three is going to be DC voltage uh, for communication. So yeah, looks like we're back in business. So now that I've verified that, I'm going to go turn the heads on and make sure they come on okay. And then uh, I will swap out the board again. So, yep. Alrighty, so we tested all five heads. They're all working. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is change out the board. And look at this one actually came with thermal paste this time, so I don't have to use my fries stuff. Sweet. So anyway, we're going to get this apart, and we'll get her switched on. And then we're going to pour water in the heads to make sure that the pumps were working fine. And we should be good to go. Alrighty, so all five heads are up and running. And this thing is cooling. So... So yeah, so it was all because of a dead short because somebody hooked up the condensate pumps wrong, uh, which happens, and don't worry, I'll be retraining those guys. Uh, but yeah, the whole problem was that fuse right there. So if you ever come across a, a, a mini split, and um, a fi well, this is a 5MX. If you ever come across one of these, and you're not getting uh, 240 volts going to the heads, check that fuse, just continuity. And if you have no continuity between that fuse, that's your problem. You can, as you saw, you can bypass it. <laughs> um, it's a little sketchy, but it can be bypassed for temporary and then until you can get a board because it always takes about a week to order. We're up and running. So now I'm going to go test all the drains, make sure everything's good. But uh, I think we can call this one good. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Comment. Tell me what a horrible technician I am. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Sure.